video is going to, I intend to serve a purpose. Um, I don't know if you all will have this problem fixed by the time this video gets out, but there is a exploit in Sony's operating system. And what's going on is um, people are being, um, well, I'll just tell you what happened. I got it, woke up in the middle of the night. My son freaking out like, oh, my PlayStation's messed up. It's been hacked. It, it's destroyed. It's bricked. And then I go in there to look at it. And what's going on is uh, there's an exploit, meaning there's a whole security problem that needs to be patched in Sony's operating system. Um, they can, um, they as in, you know, people have these hacking tools that they can send commands to cause your uh, PlayStation to freeze up or lock up. So this has a lot of people scrambling and angry, roughly so. I can see why they would be mad, but a lot of people are thinking if I format my PlayStation, um, if I erase the game, you know, this will fix it. That's not the case. The thing is, those... Um, messages are linked to your PlayStation online account. So, on the very same PlayStation that freezes, if you try an, a different user or create a guest user, it'll work just fine. So, the problem lies within that account. So, that being said, I found a fix. Do not erase anything do not format your PlayStation do not erase your game saves none of that is corrupted here is what you do uh, or I made a video but you follow these instructions okay I mean it's it's late and I know I'm not making a whole lot of sense but I'm just trying to get everybody back up and running do not go and sell your PlayStations do not format your PlayStations do not delete your save data. It's a relatively simple fix that takes about 10 minutes to fix. And I'm sure Sony will update on how to fix this in, a future, in the future. Basically, you download the application, uh, the PlayStation app, onto your mobile phones, whether it be Android or Apple, or whatever you have. And then you simply go in and you delete the messages off there that was sent to you. Um, in this case, I deleted all the messages because I wanted to get them all. Instead of from just the dummy account that was sent, uh, where the guy had sent the message to, you know, freeze up the, the PlayStation. Then, it, while you're inside the PlayStation app, go over to privacy settings set your messages to only get messages from your friends until Sony gets this patch because you don't want to get a message from the same guy again and have to repeat the steps so then you make sure your PlayStation's powered off after you've done the step with the PlayStation app and then you push the button in for seven seconds which will allow the PlayStation to boot up in a safe mode it will give you a list of options to choose from. Go into Rebuild Database. You go in there, you rebuild the database, and uh, it could take, depending on your specific console and how much data you have, it could take anywhere from like 10, 15 minutes to a couple hours. In our case, um, it took about 10 minutes. And once you have done those two things and then it restarts, you can log back in with your account and everything's still intact. All your game saves, it doesn't lock up, everything is fine. But make sure that you have set under privacy settings until they get this fixed at least. That you cannot accept messages from anybody other than your friends. I hope this video helps. If you like this, give a thumbs up or leave a comment. Have you ever had this message while playing your PlayStation? Well, if you have, 
I'm going to tell you how to fix it real quick. What you have to do is you have to go in to the PlayStation app. Download it from your app store on your mobile phone. Go into PlayStation Messages and then delete the messages that came from the user. Usually it's a bunch of hearts or some sort of hieroglyphics. Delete those messages and then you will want to go into privacy settings and then once you go into privacy settings you will uh, go into personal info and messaging you go into there and what you want to do is you set it up from just anyone that way you can't get messages from people you don't know and set it to friends only and then you follow these steps you just hold in with your PlayStation off you hold in the power button for seven seconds and then you will get this option a boot menu and what you should do is choose rebuild database once the database is rebuilt restart your PlayStation and you should be able to play on your account again